Our coverage of Colorado now takes us to Fort Collins. A fearless police canine is back on patrol after getting attacked by a suspect. Police say the man stabbed the police dog last week. Tonight, Dylan Thomas explains how a random act of kindness five years ago helped protect the four-legged officer. Every time Fort Collins police canine Enox and his handler officer Ryan Barish go to work, returning home is not guaranteed. When they suited up in body armor for a call on November 29th, they were reminded of just that. Well, officers were dispatched to a suspect who had threatened a member of the public with a knife. He barricaded on the back staircase of the Armstrong Hotel. Police say they spent nearly three hours asking Matthew Bishop to drop two knives. He ended up coming down the stairs with the knife still in his hand and took off running to the public. And that's when Enox was deployed. But when officers caught up with Enox and Bishop, I noticed that the suspect began stabbing him with his left hand um, with a blade about that long. This is my best friend. He saved my life on multiple occasions. So seeing the family member getting stabbed was very traumatic. But miraculously, not one of the stabs punctured Enox, all thanks to a protective vest and the couple that bought it. It was just very satisfying to know that we had made a small contribution. Five years ago, Gary and Kathy Geroy randomly called Fort Collins police and asked to donate a protective canine vest, the very vest that would later save Enoch's life. I wanted to cry. I'm very excited that Enoch was okay. Without the vest? My guess would be is that Enoch would not be here with us today. Hey, Enoch. Here to thank the strangers who saved his life, met with scratches for a very good boy. I think he was a very brave dog. He's so sweet when he's not on duty. Looking back on the $2,500 donation of many years ago. It was so worth the investment. Every penny and more. Every penny and more. In Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First. Dylan, thank you. Well,